Hello, John Neal here, sign writer to Royalty. This time it's a pub in Nuneaton here called The Prince. I uh, did one the other day for you on state night and this is part of the same job. Uh, this time though it's foods from around the world. And in particular I want to show you how to work uh, colours on top of other colours. Um, but before we do, just remember one more thing and that's the website. Um, I know this website so no so well now it's like the back of my hand there we go www.jren-images.co.uk and if you go to that you can find details of the full size dvd uh, about uh, an introduction to chalkboard art right meals from around the world Right here I'm just uh, using a thin white to decorate and take some of these serifs off and just to decorate a little bit more. And now just a brown, orange and yellow and white shadow on the left and underside. Right, I'm going to put the word world in white letters on a green, roughly oval shaped piece of green uh, with some white in it as well. But I'll do the green and uh, white background first as if it was the world and I'll show you how to protect it. Right, when you're doing circular things like this it's important to get the symmetry correct. So you need to stand right in the middle of it a little bit below there, by only maybe a millimetre or so, just to get that right. Okay, that's pretty good. Right, now let's just fill in with green around the outside. Now if I was to write directly on this green with white, it would pull the green off. So you've got to put some protective cover over the top. You can use hairspray, which isn't too bad. You can get a, an odourless hairspray. But I'm using here um, a can of uh, a, acrylic clear varnish. So we just need to spray this on. It's got to be perfectly dry, of course. Just spray that on and this in itself dries very quickly. Right, I've used the hairdryer to really dry that off. It dries very quickly anyway. Right, now I have actually marked out where this is going to go. So the word world is going to go on here and I'm going to try and take it along the shape of here. So take that right to the bottom there so the letter starts to open out. Now then, overlaps are a bit tricky on colour. So I'd avoid an overlap. Ah. Now right, L and D. Well, you can fit the D inside quite successfully. Now the D shape will look nicely follow the shape of the the background. Right, just needs now just to fill it out a bit. 
Now one big advantage of working on a colour here is that we can both use grey as a shadow effect and black and the effect can be a bit more interesting than just if I'm working on a black background. I must be very careful not to need thank you Mr Blackbird not to need uh, any touch up with the green because it really won't work easily at all. Uh, somebody asked me recently if you need any artistic temperament to do this. Well you do, not temperament, talent, but you do of course. But also it's a matter of logic. Now I'm going to put black on. Uh, let's do this letter here, the O. And if it's going to be darker shade then it's going to be those areas which are so I imagine the light coming from here, it's these areas here which are going to be darker still, so it's common sense really as to where they've got to go. Uh, in there certainly look, and underneath, right underneath. And finally a nice sharp white on this edge here will help. Now I can also put some extra white on because the first coat is always a bit dull and as you know I can make a highlight. Generally I've brought it down from the top but because I've tried to have it opening out so uh, it would be appropriate I think if there was a highlight across the middle here. right? So right across there would be white. So let's just, I might have done this before the edging but we should get away with it. And finally, just to finish the shape off, I think it would be appropriate to put a white line across the top here. And it would start about here, yeah, so let's dot it in and then... Right, now uh, just it, the message is try a different dish every week. So I'm going to keep that nice and simple, straightforward. Let's put it here. Just got it in. Now that line's too high actually, every week. Okay, now that needs uh, just strengthening up a bit with a second coat. Right, all that's left on this now is the two panels at the bottom say this week, next week. Now, to make sure you get it right, measure it. So, 18, no, 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 that's the middle there. Right, I'm going to give my parchment paper look which is uh, freehand with a bit of a wobble to it. Go right to the edge here because the they need all this space to write in. So make the border go right to the edge there. And keep these at random, don't put them in exactly the same place. And I think if we just put a line across That'll work. Now what was that website again? I can't remember. Uh, www.jrenimages.co.uk That's it. It's all coming back. What? jrenimages.co.uk I remember. Well, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.